It's spring, you guys. I don't know who allowed this to happen so quickly, but it's here and I am not prepared. I haul a lot of things. It may not look it like it's possible in this 400 square foot apartment, but I, I keep things for a long time time. I have pajamas in there that my mom gifted me when she went yard sale shopping when I was in eighth grade. Probably younger. I have items in this closet that I have just been keeping for too long and I have gotten to this point where I need to buy new hangers because I don't have room for more clothes. You know, why not spring clean my entire life? Since I am on a mission to clean everything in my life, I am putting on my comfy sweats today. A uh, shout out to Princess Polly, who is kindly sponsoring this video. I will be doing a little haul for you guys later, but in the meantime, I will start off with doing a huge closet clean out and I also need to clean the floors. I I actually bought this vacuum that has been sitting on the floor for almost two weeks at this point. As soon as I opened the box, I saw all of these instructions and I just closed it and said it's for another time and the time is now. You'd be shocked, but one person living in a shoebox actually does get pretty messy pretty quickly. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome across my bed to my closet. Here we have the jackets, the bottoms, bras, underwear, pajamas down there. Then over here, pants, dresses, tops. Honestly, shout out to the person that built this place because this closet fits so much. Like, too much. I'm gonna be doing multiple piles. Definitely one is donation. One of them is going to be hemming, like taking them to a seamstress because I am a solid five, three and a half. And some of my pants say otherwise, okay? They are built for a woman five, eight and above. Let's get started. Oh, and if there's any extra hangers, I'm just gonna set them on the side so I know where they are. I think I found my first donation thing. The amount of times I wore this jacket and now I don't because it's so ugly from washing it a billion times. Why does every woman have so many jean jackets and they're all so different? <sighs> we'll keep them for now. I don't know, man. Honestly, I just don't even know. This is way too short. I love it, but it's too short. pajamas by the way that are like 10 years old <laughs> okay we are now on to the other side I've made some progress but definitely need to make more and I've added one thing to my seamstress pile these jeans haven't fit me in years and I've been holding on to them because I keep on thinking oh I'm gonna lose weight I'm gonna fit into them one day no I'm not gonna fit into them so away they go <laughs> And that's everything. So here is our pile of donate clothes. I'm sweating and I need a break.
all the old, I'm thinking this is a good time to bring up all of the new things that I got for the closet. I am so excited to show you guys these clothes. I'm obsessed. Thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I love them so much. I would say a quarter of my closet is all Princess Polly clothes, and you guys saw my closet. That is a good amount of threads, okay? So if any of you are interested in getting some clothes for yourself, you can use my discount code LOVEAC to get 20% off your entire order. Also, Princess Polly does ship within the United States. They have free standard shipping, which is about three to six days for all US orders over $50. And they also offer afterpay and shop pay to all of their customers. So let's just hop right into the clothes. As you guys can see, I did take off my hoodie. It is a warm spring day, but I mean, I'm still wearing the sweats. They are so freaking comfortable. This is just the Princess Polly gray hoodie with their pink bubble letters. It is so cute and just gorgeously oversized if you want to wear these over biker shorts. I feel like that'd be such a cute casual outfit. I love that the sleeves are really big and the hoodie itself is really big. I'm obsessed and I will be living in these sweats. Also, I want to mention that this white tank top is also from Princess Polly. I got this two years ago and they definitely still offer it. It is just like a casual cropped tank top that you can wear with anything. It's not included in the haul, but if you're interested, I will be linking it down below as well. Okay, so the next new item that I got, this is their Juliana top and it has this beautiful lace detailing, these dainty white buttons all along the middle. What I really love about it is that it's totally customizable. If you want one button holding your shirt together for dear life, you can do that. Or if you want to be fully covered, you can do that as well. The outside is really soft, almost satin-like. It's really smooth. And again, you could just wear it with anything. Shorts, some pants. I'm pretty sure this would be super cute on top of a skirt too. I'm obsessed and I'm just excited to wear this a bunch more times. Okay, next item. This is the Morin two-piece bolero top in sage. This is obviously just like a tube top. I mean, very basic, right? But get this, it comes with this little top portion, like a long sleeve moment that you wear on top. It's beautiful because you can wear them separately, you can wear them together and have this whole entire new look. I also am just so obsessed with the fabric. It just feels so insanely soft and buttery and it's extremely lightweight too, so it's definitely perfect for those super hot California days. <laughs> okay, next item that I have to bring up because this is something that I would totally not normally buy, but when I saw on their website, I was like, Okay, fine, I'll do it. This is their Tasia, let's hope it's that, Tasia long sleeve top in pink. It has this beautiful stretchy mesh material in the back so it's a little bit see-through, but I love that the cup is very thick so you will not have any nip slips in this. It has this beautiful lace detailing in the front. I also just want to mention how insanely soft this is. Even though it looks really seductive, you would not think this feels like pajamas. If I wore this on the night out, I would sleep in this, okay? Next item that I got are these Tropicana shorts. Look how cute, they're just like your basic mom shorts. They're this like really pretty light blue color and then you got your pockets in the back which make your booty look good. The next item that I'm gonna show you guys is the Casey overalls in navy. Oh, look at them. I love that it has this beautiful little cuff on the bottom. The straps, of course, are adjustable. This is true to size and it won't fit you super tight. It's just the perfect overalls and I love them so much. This is the Caprani mini dress in gray. You guys, when I put on this dress, I swear to God, I became a different woman. My name was no longer Amanda. It was like Anastasia or something. I have never felt so hot in my entire life. I think it's this is the same material as the um, green top that I showed you guys. It's extremely soft, stretchy, buttery. I love that the side of it has this kind of pool ruching effect, so you could shorten the dress on the side and kind of show off your leg a little bit more if you want. This ruching effect on the side 
creates all of these folds in the front. It's so flattering and easy to wear. Also, I feel like I need to bring up this jacket. So this is the Ellen Faux Leather Blazer. The way the length is, it goes right below the torso, so it looks long in a way where it gives off a classy nightlife vibe. I just love also the pockets that it has in the front, the buttons. Also just feels really thick, high quality, but it's perfect for just like going out on the town or if you have a business or corporate event. This just goes well with anything. Alrighty everyone, and that was all of the clothing that I got. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything and I will be linking everything down below. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. I would be lying if I didn't say that this was the next day. I just got so lazy after doing that clothing haul. I realized I had nothing for dinner and then I had to run to Trader Joe's and then by the time I got back, I wanted to finish the second season of Bridgerton because I have been binging it for the last two days and it is so good. After that, I just like went straight to bed and figured, let me just throw on the same outfit and do the same makeup look and just pretend, you know, for the cohesiveness of this video, okay? <laughs> let me put together this vacuum that I have been putting off forever, but it is this cordless vacuum cleaner that I got on Amazon. Ooh, it is a pretty blue color though. I ordered this so long ago, I don't even remember like the reviews or the attachments it comes with. So this is very much gonna be a first impression. Aha! It seems kind of small. I mean, for like a studio, it might be like the perfect size. So here is what this inside looks like. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like this is the kind of roller situation that would have a bunch of hairs tangled up. But first impression, I like that you can maneuver this in any direction. That's pretty cool. You can go straight up and go all the way down. When did I become a vacuum cleaning review channel? I don't know when I made the transition, but here we are. Ooh, and then this can be a handheld situation. Ooh, and it has this pretty touch pad. Install the battery pack here. Cool. Goes on here. And then to extend it, please charge it for four to five hours before first use. Hmm, not what I want to do. Gosh, I don't want to take this off yet in case I hate this vacuum and I want to return it. So, we're going to keep all of this packaging all nice and pretty. Well, aesthetics-wise, I think it looks really pretty. But later, we will do an actual test and vacuum. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen this because I've been showing it off on my Instagram stories. But look at my basil plant. She's so cute. I actually grew this from these seeds in pods. I don't know if you've ever seen those like wall garden kind of setups. I used to have one and I loved it, but it was just too big and a lot of maintenance for this tiny studio. So I actually sold it, but after I sold it, I didn't realize that I had two pods left over and I'll add an image so you guys can like kind of get an idea of what it looks like. I grabbed those pods and I put it in just your standard pot with a drainage hole, of course, and I added basic potting mix and it has grown insanely fast. I don't know if it's because of the pods or honestly basil itself is just a very fast growing plant but it is growing so gorgeous i actually want to go to home goods and buy a bigger pot for this because it is quickly outgrowing this one and if i turn it over you can see there's actually roots coming out from the bottom and i saw online if you don't want it to grow like super straight up and you want it to grow more outward you cut right above i believe this is called the node and if you do that it'll sprout in two see <sighs> So cool. Okay, so I have a bunch of dishes I need to wash and some that I need to put away. <sighs> if I had to pick a chore that I don't like doing the most, it would be washing the dishes. I think it's just the feeling of wet, dirty food and the constant scrubbing and then rinsing and then turning off the sink, turning it on. It's just ugh, annoying. <laughs> Okay, I don't have a bunch, but just so you guys can see what I'm working with, it's not my best look. I'm gonna speed through this, cause no one cares. <laughs> fun. 
going to make lunch really quick. I'm just going to do something really easy. Microwave some leftover white rice that I have. This is one of those like basic Trader Joe's meals. And they have a new product that I'm so excited to try. I opened it and it's the smell. I just knew I had to document this. So this is their vegan pokey. I actually have never had the real thing before I went vegan. But this is basically beets marinated in a sesame soy sauce. I'm gonna lay some fresh cucumber on there, some jalapenos, and then I'm just gonna scoop this on top. Again, I have not tried this at all. And honestly, just from the smell of it, I think I'm gonna like it. Oh, yes. Look at her. Oh my God, have you seen a more beautiful thing? Okay, let's try it. Hmm. Hmm, that's good. It tastes so fresh. It definitely tastes like beets though. So if you like hate beets with a passion, you know, I would be a little iffy on this because I mean, it definitely tastes like beets just marinated in soy sauce, but it's really good. I'm having a snack. These are my favorite chips of all time. It's been a few hours. It's time to finally use the vacuum. Let's check it out. I don't even know how to start this. Do I push something? Mm. Oh, dude, what? Oh, oh. So there's this little thing right here. Okay. Oh, oh it picked up hair. Okay, this is minimum max. Oh. Oh my god, I could, I could feel the suction power. It's so good. Oh. I'm gonna show you guys a close up. Okay, now that I'm using it, I do kind of like that it's small because it can fit into all these smaller spaces. I will say though, this is already at 90 and it was just at 100. The way this is working on hardwood, I'm dead. I'm so impressed. Not too shabby, honestly. If I had to give it a rating, I would say, also this lighting is so bad. <laughs> I would give it a seven and a half out of 10. Definitely good and I think it's worth it for the money. So, I'm gonna strip, it's getting hot. Look at the amount this thing picked up. Holy cow, it's disgusting. I vacuumed my square of an apartment and it already went down to like 70 or 60 or something, which makes me think that the running time is gonna be no more than 20 minutes, which is really annoying if you have a big household. So I don't know if I'd recommend it for that, but if you live in a small space like me, this thing is totally perfect um, and it'll get the job done if you don't wanna spend over $600 on a vacuum. <laughs> oh. I just feel so good right now. I feel like today has been so productive and I did what I needed to do. It is the weekend. I think I've earned the rest of the day off. I mean, it's 6.30. All I wanna do is eat pizza and watch a movie. I do wanna show you guys though really quick. I started Duolingo recently, like three or four days ago because one of my coworkers is trying to learn Spanish and I took French all four years of high school, but I forgot most of the language or like any conversational French that I knew. So I started Duolingo for French. I'm trying to like build up a 30 day streak. So I'm gonna do a lesson right now. So you guys can hear me butcher French. I feel like that'd be fun. Okay, two coffees. Deux. De. Café. Café. Je voudrais un thé. Je voudrais un thé. Je voudrais. Je voudrais un thé. Je voudrais un thé. 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 De café. De café. Café. Une serveuse. Serveuse. Ooh. Le jus d'orange. Le jus d'orange. Orange juice. Me too. Moi aussi. Moi aussi. Nous aimons le jus d'orange. Un café. Un café. I feel like that sounded Spanish. <laughs> the waiter is eating your croissant. Le, Le serveur. Le serveur. 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 Le serveur mange, mange. 
ton ton croissant 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 les cerveaux mangent ton croissant un thé s'il vous plaît the waiter speaks french les cerveaux parlent français okay and that was my exercise <laughs> um totally butchering it but i'm definitely learning something well thank you guys so much for joining me on this little vlog again thank you to princess polly for sponsoring this video and giving me some cute new clothes to wear on the streets and that's all i'll see you next time Bye.